Hello Libra and welcome to your Avalon Rituals Linomore for the month of March 2020. My name is Julia. Thank you for tuning in. Libra Sun Moon Rising. I'm gonna do a Linomore spread for you. I have no idea what's gonna show up. Uh, so if it's gonna be more like a love reading or work, let's just see what uh, wants to show up and what wants to come up in the reading. Before we start, I want to do a little tuning in again to the energies of Avalon. And I have my singing bow with me. So if you would like to receive some healing energies from this beautiful magical place, just uh, close your eyes and relax. And if you don't want to, just skip to round about 2 minutes, 2 minutes 30, and there your reading will start. So, Libra, just close your eyes. And take a deep breath. <sighs> Receive the healing energies from Avalon, the heart chakra of the earth. It's German timing. 2.30 and I'm done with the singing pony and um, I will shuffle your cards now, lay them out and in a second you're gonna see your spread. All right so this is your spread for March. I want to say the due no matter of the gender are indicated here by this card. It's a woman but I always need to decide um, if, like who the person is who this reading is for because this is your law of interest which could indicate an ex-partner, a partner, someone you have romantic feelings for. Um, so no matter of the gender, you Libra watching are uh, this card and uh, your law of interest is this card here. So uh, let's see what is in the center of the reading. So there is some communication going on. Uh, it might be some documents, some actual letters, um, some paper stuff that is causing some nervousness and stress. Maybe there's some kind of loss or the fear of losing something. Um, and it is related to either a communication, conversation that you have to do. It might be because it's between you and your love interest that there is something going on between you and your love interest. I do see that in the house of love is the ring which I do feel you are in a partnership and you also are all about love. Um, so it does seem like you, Libra, are um, committed um, you have definitely someone that you yourself are committed to um, so either you are already in a relationship with the person or where you really have someone who um, that might not be a relationship at the moment but maybe that is developing and you're working on that but in general I can see and for the most of you I would say uh, you are in a love relationship um, something comes into a flow in this situation and in flow comes, let's see, sex from fear. So it might be that the harmony is coming into a flow again, or the lilies can also stand for uh, a family or sexuality. So in your relationship, there will be a new flow regarding these topics, either family, harmony, or sexuality. And also, it's gonna, it seems like uh, something is really growing. So um, let's see where this is going to. 
Oh, that is interesting. Something there's something long-termish, something that is growing. It might be that the beauty and harmony, the sexuality is growing. It might be that you are growing a family. Um, there's something regarding your life um, that is growing, um, also stability, but also I do see that something in your life needs to be let go of. Let's see. No, let's see. So you're going to have a conversation and here again we have the conversation here but uh, with this card it indicates that there is communication going on to clear out things something needs to be let go of something needs to be cleared and this um, will bring the sun which means there will be new energy new optimism new positive it's like the best card in the deck so once you have to have this conversation and clear things out uh, things will actually get better like much better and also it will be like a blessing it, it will really be like a blessing I do feel like uh, this is related to the fears about the communication and the conversation but actually you're gonna notice like in the future you're gonna look back on the situation and you will notice wow it was so good that we cleared out these things that I let go of something because I really felt much better after I felt much lighter so um, this relates to uh, there is a blessing of new stability coming your way probably around yeah springtime which is quite soon it's in the end of March but it also relates to March April uh, May it also might be that there is something coming your way related to your work life something new related to your work life um, maybe there is a promotion you get or something that is like a blessing if this is not about your work it just means also or it could also mean that in your relationship there is a new stability maybe because you have cleared things maybe because you have worked through things on, on we see here there is something new coming so it might actually be that there is something new coming your way uh, with the child card that of course could be a child but it could be something in general be something new is starting but also it can mean that maybe um, because this card can indicate as well as I've said the work so maybe you get a new job or something at work is starting new so that's this is going to lead to 19 f 12 13 it might be that there are new contracts for you um, the contracts or a new uh, or a new kind of communication um, there seems to be a blockage on it though um, and let's see, the blockage certainly, um, it might be that there's a blockage because of an older woman. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. Uh, so we have the snake here. So, but it might be that there is a blockage, uh, that, um, that there is a delay. That there is a delay for you... So that is interesting because I do feel I get now mixed signals. We started with the love, but it can actually mean that um, also this relates to love. So maybe there's a blockage in a communication with this person again. Uh, there were like things were cleared out, um, but then there is another thing coming up, and now there's a blockage related maybe to an, another woman or to some complications in the relationship, but. And, and that could also mean uh, complications regarding uh, the matters of a withdrawal. Maybe someone is, is withdrawing into their own walls and is hiding. Maybe you feel isolated or alone or someone is feeling isolated and alone. And this can also mean a withdrawal or separation. So if that relates now with the stability and something new coming in, uh, if that all relates to your love, it could mean those things. But if it is about work, then the same basically um, could relate to work because we had the anchor here. And also the tower could mean you being self-employed, you being independent. So there might be a blockage for you getting independent really. And there are delays in, in this matter so that's interesting because it started with love and now it's a little bit mixed up so I guess for for some of you the new thing really relates to work and that there are new contracts that are maybe blocked um, and that um, that there will be some delays uh, with you being independent that could be one thing 
or for some of you, as I've said, it is about a relationship that there comes in new stability because you have worked through something, but then another thing will pop up um, and maybe someone is feeling or someone is a little bit withdrawing. Um, let's see where this is going to. 16, 17, 18, 19, yeah. And so it does feel like in your immediate environment, you feel like a little bit um, isolated. So um, that is that is interesting. If it is your if it is related to your work life, as I said, as I've said, this can also mean that you are independent, working from home. Um, yeah, and then the circle has closed. I do also see that uh, the destiny card is in the house of destiny, which means. Um, there seems to be something really significant going on for you in March. Also, another interesting thing is that the decision is in the house of karma, also a life lesson, also destiny. So that is like a double thing. I do feel like something really significant is going on. Maybe you stand in front of a crossroads in March and need to decide which way to go now. Mm. And the interesting thing here, again, we have the partnership. Uh, if I mirror it, there's something with a tricky situation in a partnership, but also related to work. So in case, it could also be that it relates for you to both. That the situation is, that there are complications in your work life and in your relationship life. So that's interesting because we have this here. But what we also have is, we have here the, the tricky situation for both things. But of course, the ring can also indicate a business partnership. So that's interesting as well. But what we have in the same, um, um, yeah, uh, how do you say it? Well, you mirror these and we have also the star here, which also means that whatever this is, there will be new clarity and a new beginning coming in and it's all protected. It's all under a good star and there's a sense of destiny in both uh, areas of life. So that is interesting. Um, and you are looking onto a karmic situation that will be a positive change which might relate to a meeting maybe you're meeting a friend uh, that could also relate to the public something in public something is changing here and that's uh, in your future basically and um, I do see some nervousness and stress in the month for you but also with the sunshine a lot of good energy so there might be some things that are a little bit nagging on you but you will also get a lot of energy to really push through, push through the months which is um, really really good. Um, yeah, around the love, I see a decision is here. I do see also your partner here. So I do feel like you are with someone. Um, in general, the cards around the love are really, really beautiful. The only thing is that there's also something nagging at you, but that's nothing major. It's nothing serious here. So that's all good. Um, around the partnership, yeah, we have here a transformation, but it could also relate that um, contracts are transforming. So that's interesting. But also we have the luck card here. We have a blessing here and we have new clarity and destiny and also it's under a good star. So even if there is a transformation in this area of partnership, no matter what kind of business, friend or love relationship, there will be new clarity and it is all protected and under a good star. Libra, please let me know if you resonated with this reading. If so, please leave me a comment below the video or a like or subscribe to the channel. And if you want your own personal reading, just drop me a message here or on Instagram, Avalon Rituals. I'm sending you so much love from Avalon. Um...